Welcome to the Table Builder tutorial series. In this video, we will look at some basic Table Builder features, such as the different data sets you can select, and how to create and save your table. When you log into Table Builder, the first thing you will see is the data set screen. To create a table, first the data set must be selected from the folders on the left hand panel. The data set you select affects the data you can use, for example, the census year, or whether the information is about education or employment. Browse through the list to find the one which will best suit your needs, keeping in mind that you can't add data from different data sets to the one table. In this example, we are looking at data from the census, but these techniques also apply to survey data. Table Builder Pro users will see extra data sets here. These data sets allow a user to cross-reference the full range of census variables. For this example, we are going to use the 2016 Census Employment, Income and Education data set. This is available in Table Builder Basic. Select the data set from the list. If there are any predefined tables for this data set, they will appear in the central panel. To create a table from scratch, Click New Table. This brings us to the Table View screen. The left hand panel is where you can find data items to add to your table. It is broken down into geographical areas and the items specific to the data set you are using. Let's take a look at the geographical areas first. Clicking on the folder icon expands it to show the different geographical classifications that you can use. Here we will add states and territories to our table. If we expand the main ASGS folder, you will see a list of states. These can be broken down further. However, in this example, we just want to select the states and territories. This can be done individually or by clicking the arrow to the right and selecting the appropriate option. Once all the states and territories are selected, click Add to Row at the top of the panel. The state list will now appear in the table in the center of the screen. Back in the left hand panel, minimize the geographical areas folder by clicking the folder icon and open the selected persons characteristics folder. For this example, we want to add information about sex to our table. Open the sex folder and select male and female. Click on the add to column button to add them to our table. Our table now displays sex by state. Click the retrieve data button to fill the table with numbers. We have now created a simple table. If our table had more than 10,000 cells, it would be a large table, which is handled differently. To learn more about making large tables, refer to the large tables tutorial. To compare the states easily, we might want to look at percentages. Click the Options icon above the table and hover your mouse over Percentages. You can select Percentage by Row, Column or Total. In this case, we want Row to give us a percentage breakdown of the males and females in each state. Our table is now complete. To save this table for future use, click the Save Table icon above the table. Give the table a name and click Save. It will now be available from the Save Tables tab, which you can access from the top of the screen. We can also download this table. In the top right corner of the screen, there is a drop down menu of the range of file formats available. Select the one you want, for example, Excel, click Go, and the file will download in your browser. Within the Table View screen, you can sort the columns to order the rows. You can also drag and drop the data items you are using, either to adjust the table format or to remove them from the table by dragging the data item into the trash. Clicking the clear table icon lets us start again with a blank screen. This concludes the Table Builder Basics tutorial.